Hello guys, welcome back. It's almost like 2 in the morning right now. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and do some more coding. So, um, we're basically going to do collisions. Yay! So, yeah, it's actually not too bad. Um, so since we store everything in the hash map, that means we can kind of get that O of 1 efficiency with collisions and we're gonna, I'm going to show you how exactly we're doing that. So in the ABB class um, that every um, every block has in its update method, uh, we're going to create a method called um, make it a boolean, boolean method and it's going to be called collision uh, tiles. Now this is not necessarily like an AABB kind of thing, um, but it's a, uh, you just add it in the same class. So, yeah, I'm going to make a for loop and we're going to make a loop that basically going to loop through each um, corner of the block, the tile, so the upper, the leftmost, and then, you know, the lower corners. We don't talk about the lower corners, but anyways, um, yeah, just a second. Um, we need the x plus the ax, and then plus c two, and gotta gotta get the the width in here plus the x offset and divide that by 64 all right yeah so basically what we're trying to do is trying to get the tile of which the player is uh, is in or is about to be in um, And let's make sure we just like cast before we start anything. Um, so basically, um, let's see here. If we go to paint, I don't know. What's the fastest? That's probably faster. Yep. So basically, what's going to happen is we have like this tile, right? And so we have this. Player. He's going to get into this tile. And the, 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 the freaking this method's what's going to do is just going to take that point where the player like in, initially try to get into it, and just go to this position here, which is actually the the tile position. And if it's saying, oh, if it's in this basic area, then that means it's in that position. That's what we're doing. I don't say that. That's not a work of art. That's more like a a poor explanation. <laughs> oh gosh. Um. So. Um. So blocks. So we need that. That's the uh. That's the tile map that we're getting right now. And we need to make sure if it contains the key of the the thing that we just did. Time. Yeah, I don't explain a lot. I don't know if I said this in the beginning. That's kind of my intent, really, not to explain a lot, but just to code. Um, I might explain some stuff here and there, but I'm not, not really in depth. Because usually I just, I learn by just looking at the code and be like, oh, okay, that's how you do it. That's cool. It's kind of like debugging. That's, I also learned by debugging other people's code. One time I tried to debug this person's code and I was like, oh my gosh, so confused. <laughs> that was really bad. But um, but then I got it later. I was just like, oh, you, that's what you did. This is what you did wrong. And the person was like, oh, yeah, that's pretty bad. I was like, yeah, dude, what's what's with you? But yeah. Um, now, since we got the... Uh, we, since we got the, the, the class, we can just call the method and update it. Because you remember, the update method's a boolean value, so... Yeah. 
And if not, we're just going to turn false. Um, so, yeah. So if we go to declare, and in here, we can just say if we can, um, the bounds, I think that's, I think that's something. What's it called? Collision tile, right? And we'll DX and zero. So that's the, that's that. Um, just get that in that. There we go. And that also in that. Put that right there. And we have basically the same thing. Um, but I don't want to. I don't want to copy it. Cause I have to change. I don't know. Should have copied it. Whatever. And zero dy. And just bam. And that's it. Basically. Um, hmm. I feel like something's wrong. I think that's right. I think that's right. Hopefully that's right. Uh, so yeah. If we go to the freaking this thing. As you can see, it's calling... What is it doing? It's going here, it contains the key. Okay, then it goes here and be like, oh, it's in, it's this one, I guess, or something. That's, uh, so we can just, actually, that's probably a good idea, is to actually um, see the bounding box that we got going. So, on the player anyways, and let's just color it like blue. And G dot draw rect. Yada yada. And make it basically just this. But a little bit more complicated. Not much though, just a little. Because we also need to go bounds dot get our X offset. And also here as well. Plus um Bounds that get Y offset. Is that right? I think that's right. And here we just go bounds dot get width. And also here bounds dot get height. And we can go to the ABB class and see if we actually have the get offset. No, we don't. I knew it. Show public and it's a float, so we should return a float. Get x offsets and return the x offsets. Whoa, that didn't work. <laughs> What's up? Um, uh, need to cast it. So back here. Oops. And we uh, give it the uh, where it's located. Um, it's here. Uh, tile map. Oh, oops. Oh, no, we still have some stuff. Can I find some bull? Um, I thought that was right. What? Oh, we we got a mess. There we go. We can't move. Which is cool and all. That basically means we got something wrong. <laughs> That's all that means. Ah, oh, dang, what sucks. What did we get wrong? Hmm. Oh, 
what? Unreachable statement. Oh, because it's oh yeah. Okay, so it's not true. Yet yeah, we can't move. Oh, do you know why? Do you do you know why? Because we've got to negate that. There we go. Now we can start moving. 100% positive. We can start moving. There we go. So then we go contact with this. There we go. So we can't do that. And we can't fit through that stairs. And do you know what? We actually, we don't need the bounding box to be that big really for the player. Really we want the bounding box to be um, like on its, on the player's feet. So we're going to do that. So if we go here. Go bounds dot set the width, and you can set it to like 42, and then do the same thing with bounds set height, and you set that to like 20. Yeah, so I I'm messing I was messing around with the uh, the freaking um, numbers here, and I found these numbers to be pretty well, pretty good. Pretty well, pretty good. Uh, and then run that. Voila! So it's at, at its feet. And there we go. So now we can just go like that and we slide off and we can go like that. Pretty cool. And as you can see, that we can go around here. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome, but that's not right <laughs> because that's a hole, so we should fall in it, right? So if we go not to there, um, but to our entity, we could see that we don't really have an animation for a falling state, I guess. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to add the falling state and detect whether um, now we got 12 minutes, whether uh, we we fall into a hole or not. So let's go ahead and do that actually. And we go to oh, the hole block. We set it to false and we want to keep it that like that. And we want to go and we can do so for right now we can create a method called inside and just give the p there. And if that is true, then we can just say I am a hole. So that's what we're going to do. And we're not going to make it um, uh, public. We're making a boolean though, because that's what it's required of. And we're gonna have we're gonna give it the ABB class, and we're basically now going to detect whether it's inside a hole or not. Um, so uh, what we need to do is try to find, figure out if a rectangle is inside the same rectangle or or whatever. So we have this rectangle here with the player, and we're trying to figure out whether it's inside the freaking hole. So if it's like this, then it's not really inside, you know? It has to be completely inside it, not always completely inside it. It can be half off, you know? Anyways, so let's do that. Um, so first thing we can do is we can check whether um, the player position at x, and of course you have to do um, plus the uh, x offset. So if it's actually less than the position of the tile, if it is, then return false because it's not even not even near to being inside. So yeah. So then we can check that for the Y as well. So all we do is copy, just paste it, and just Y. Y. 
and wildlife. Okay. Then we can do some cool stuff and like find the absolute value of W plus. Why do we need to find the value of the absolute value of that? That's stupid. So let's not do that. Um, so yeah, W plus the, the position. And if that's less than um, the, we don't need to find absolute value. P dot the, the width um, plus the freaking uh, P dot get position get pos x plus the offset and then if that's bigger then return false because that means it can never be inside it because it's too big um, so then if we get the the y we can do the same thing p dot get height plus uh, p dot get position dot x oops actually we got to do that uh, y plus p dot get y offset and that's also a method so yeah then just return false In other words it's inside and it's return true I think that's it so we can go ahead and just run it, and then we can just see if it, if it works or not. So here it is, it's halfway in. So it is right now updating, but of course it's false, so it's not going to do anything. It's not until we're fully inside, so if we just get inside, there it is. It's in the hole. And just go ahead and check this. And you, actually, it's not going to work. Um, it's not going to work if you actually do this. So, um, if you position yourself right there, like right in between these two tiles, and if you go, it's actually not going to um, say that you're in a hole. It's not until you actually get onto one of the other tiles that it's going to say that it's a hole. So yeah, that's a drawback. One way that we can actually go around that is, um, check if it's the player is actually um, touching two holes and if it is if there's same tiles at the same ID then we can know for sure that it's inside um, actually maybe not for sure because then it could be like right there but uh, we can know we can just basically expand the width and height and yeah we will do that in the next video either that or just scrap the whole thing so don't know we'll see we'll see what happens so yeah thanks for watching everybody and um see you in the next video